Yo, what's up? It's Don. Seeing me here. Soul Brothers, how you guys doing? Are you uh, a low boy? Low boys. Uh, we, we're kind of low boys. I'm very much a low boy. Unless it's a high that's kind of minimal on the ankle. But still, I like a low. I, I, yeah, we'd always prefer a low. I mean, they're yeah. they're little, usually a little lighter and, you know, the ankle mobility is, is nice. and it's, it's not good for your knees. Yeah, I mean, real ankle restriction, really, you pay for it with your knees. Yes. Um, after a period of time, and um, I've experienced that personally because we both have, have had ankle issues. Uh, yeah. You guys may have known there was periods that we were wearing ankle uh, braces. The ASO ankle brace, we suggest if you are going to wear one, um, maybe we'll link that below. Yes. Uh, probably the best ankle brace, but um, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, uh, if you don't allow your uh, ankle to bend, what's going to, you know, uh, absorb the impact of your landing yeah. your knees because you can't bend your ankles you know what I'm saying so um, that's but if you, why but it's sorry but if you do need to wear it sometimes you need to wear an ankle brace fresh that's off why we suggest that yeah. ankle brace if you're fresh off an ankle injury, yeah yeah but other than that you should work on strengthening your ankle yeah. you know and then you know not wearing it because you know it's not good for your legs yeah. so um yeah I mean that's why we like lows you know I also like the feeling of it being minimal and like you know the freedom you know, of, of, you know, a low, which I love. And, and they're cheaper sometimes. And they're cheaper sometimes. Most of the time, yes, yeah. they are. If there is a high and a low version. Yeah. Ankle support comes also from lateral stability. Yeah. And there are a few factors. So like if it's low to the ground, then it's obviously, if you're higher to the ground, you're more likely to fall, fall over and roll your ankle. If you're lower, you're not going to. And how wide the base is, yeah. you know? So if it's wide, you're less likely to uh, the ro to roll your ankle as well, because it think about like if you're on like high heels, you know, which is super thin, you're gonna roll it. If you're wide and low to the ground, you're less likely likely to roll your ankle. Yeah. Obviously, if you step on someone's foot really bad, there's n uh, there's nothing you can do and you're gonna roll it. But yeah, whenever I hoop in heels, I usually blow my ankle off. <laughs> exactly right. It's annoying, but uh, but anyways, so th these are the top low top shoes in our opinion. There's two tiers. And so let's get it start off with uh, the Kyrie Fly Trap 2. And everything about that shoe is amazing besides the cushion. Like I always say, so that's why it's in the second tier. And that's the only thing that could I could di differentiate uh, between all these shoes is the cushion. Because mm -hmm. uh, the traction, materials, fit, support, all that are really, really nice, nice in all these shoes. It's just the cushion in the second tier was just not as good as the first tier. So that's why it's in the second tier. Uh, and if you guys want to cop any of these shoes, we'll leave links below. Moving on to the next shoe, the Kyrie Low 2. Same thing. Also, curvature is amazing. Traction is amazing. Materials are great. Fit, support, all that's there. The cushion is a little rough. I mean, it's not as bad, bad as the Flytrap 2 because uh, there is a little bit more compression and I believe it's a little bit thicker. So, uh, it's not as bad, but it's still pretty stiff. So, that's why it's in the second tier. Next shoe is the Curry 303. Mm. Same thing, I mean, the traction is great, cushion is not very nice, uh, materials, synthetic leather, super thin, very soft on foot, fit is amazing and all that. Uh, it's just the cushion is a little lackluster, that's why it's in the second tier. And same thing with the Curry 6. You know, obviously the Under Armour shoes, cushion is not very great in them, so like I said, the, the Hover and the Curry 6, pretty damn stiff, not very nice. Uh, but traction is great, materials, super minimal feeling shoe. Uh, I love it, so uh, there's that. Uh, moving on to the first tier. Uh-oh. All right, let's start off with the Jordan CP 3.12. Uh, that's a banger. It is a banger. Uh, checks pretty much every category, especially the price. You know, you get some decent materials, uh, half of the shoe, but uh, $100, very cheap, and just a solid performer, and it feels, I mean, it's real low. Real low. You know what I mean? It's one of the lowest feeling shoes to me. Yeah. Um, and super minimal as well. Yes. Uh, next shoe is the LeBron 16 low. Um, I mean, the LeBron 16 is a low, but kind of low mid. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. But I guess it kind of goes over the ankle, uh, your ankle bone, so it kind of doesn't count. I don't know, but LeBron 16 low, and, and it's cheaper. So uh, you guys already know, cushion is freaking crazy. Uh, Traction is awesome, fit, materials, and all that are great. So LeBron 16 for the win. Mm -hmm. Next shoe is the PG3. You guys already know as well. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the best uh, for sure. Yeah. Um, one of the best tractions on the list. 
Cushion's great, price is great. Um, super light, not the most minimal, but minimal enough. Yes. You know, so. In my opinion, I think the PG3 has the best colorways of any shoe this, yeah. this year. PG3 colorways are so dope. Yeah. Like the NASA silver colorways out, you know, the iridescent. Yeah. The, you know, the, there's a black and white one, like the Oreo one, and then the uh, there's like a white one that came out as well, which is super cool. Yeah. So there's the PG3. Next shoe is the Harden Volume 3. This is probably the lowest. Yeah. It's probably the lowest. I mean, yeah, like it like dips where your ankle is like, so oh. low. <laughs> yeah. And then the heel tab kind of comes up kind of high. Yeah. To kind of protect your Achilles or whatever. I'm not sure why, but. I like that. Yeah, it feels I like nice. That feels, yeah. yeah. But I mean, uh, some of the best cushion on the list, yeah, uh, for sure, because you're also you also sit so low to the ground, yeah, especially in the forefoot. But the bounce, uh, I mean, the boost is really nice on your foot. So pretty premium materials. Mm -hmm. Damage on that is around one fifty, right? One forty. One forty. One forty. Uh, next shoe is the Leaning Sonic Seven. Mm. So um, there is a low version, but the version that I have is also kind of like a low. I mean, the, the inner booty kind of comes up a little bit, but it basically feels like a low. Mm -hmm. So um, it feels great. Cushion is amazing as well. Traction is awesome. Materials are so soft and comfortable and support is great. So, and it's uh, only a hundred bucks or 110 bucks. Yeah. Very, very cheap. And last but not least is the Anta KT4 Low. Uh, very excited for the KT5. There were some real shit leaks on the KT5, but Clay Thompson isn't even gonna play this year, so. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, the KT KT4 low, hundred ten bucks, best bang for your shoe buck on this list. Uh, best quality materials, they give you great tech in the cushion. Uh, traction is amazing. Uh, great ventilation in that shoe as well. So yeah, KT4 low is a great shoe. Uh, but anyways, if you guys want a great low top shoe, you should be fine with any of these shoes. If you want, if you don't mind like stiffer cushion, you're okay with the second tier. If you want better cushion, then go with any of the shoes in the first tier. Yep. Um, but anyways, hope you helped you guys out, and we'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.